Minecraft from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Recorded on January 22, 2012. Minecraft is a sandbox building independent video game written in Java, originally by Swedish creator Marcus Notch Persson, and now by his company Mojang, formed from the proceeds of the game. It was released as an alpha on May 17, 2009, with a beta version on December 20, 2010. Official releases for iOS and Android have been released, and the full version of the PC game was released on November 18, 2011, at Minecon 2011. The Android release was temporarily exclusive to the Xperia Play, but is now available to the rest of the Android market. A version of the game for the Xbox 360 with Kinect support is under development by 4J Studios, to be released in 2012. Minecraft is focused on creativity and building, allowing players to build constructions out of textured cubes in a 3D world. Gameplay in its commercial release has two principal modes, survival, which requires players to acquire resources themselves and maintain their health and hunger, and creative, where the player has an unlimited supply of resources, the ability to fly, and no concept of health or hunger. A third gameplay mode, called Hardcore, is essentially the same as Survival, but the difficulty is locked on the hardest setting and respawning is disabled, forcing the player to delete his or her world upon death. An outdated classic version is also available for free, although it is no longer being developed. Creative Minecraft resembles classic, but with many more features. The gameplay is heavily inspired by Infiniminer by Zaktronics Industries and Dwarf Fortress by Bay 12 Games. The game was officially released at Minecon on November 18, 2011. Minecraft was developed for about a week before its public release on May 17, 2009 on the TIG source forums where it gained a considerable level of popularity. It has been continually updated and patched since then and while it was still an alpha release, it garnered several hundred thousand sales and received critical notice and acclaim from many reviewers. It passed a million units sold on January 12, 2011, less than a month after reaching beta. By November 7, 2011, the game had sold 4 million units. Contents Section 1 – Gameplay Section 2 – Development Section 3 – Reception Section 4. Ports. Section 5. Minecon 2011. Section 6. Soundtrack. Section 1. Gameplay. The core gameplay revolves around construction. The game world is essentially made of cubes arranged in a fixed grid pattern which represent different materials such as dirt, stone, various ores, water, and tree trunks. While the players can move freely across the world, objects and items can only be placed at fixed locations relative to the grid. The player can gather these material blocks and place them elsewhere, thus potentially creating various constructions. Minecraft has three currently available gameplay modes, Survival, Hardcore, and Creative. Classic is the earliest free version, and initially featured only the Creative game mode with only building block placement and removal, aspects of the game, and unlimited block supply. The game was then split into single-player survival mode, referred to as survival mode test, which contained monsters and a much greater variety of blocks and items, as well as requiring players to mine their own blocks. The game starts by placing the player on the surface of a huge, procedurally generated game world. The player can walk across the terrain consisting of planes, mountains, caves, and various water bodies. The world is also divided into biomes, ranging from deserts to snowfields. The in-game time system follows a day and night cycle. Throughout the course of the game, the player encounters various non-human creatures, referred to as mobs. During the daytime, non-hostile animals spawn, which can be hunted for food and crafting materials. Hostile monsters, such as large spiders, skeletons, zombies, and the dangerous exploding creeper 
will spawn in unlit areas, such as in caves or during the night. Complex systems can be built using the in-game physics engine with the use of primitive electrical circuits and logic gates. For example, a door can be opened or closed by pressing a connected button or stepping on a pressure plate. Similarly, large and more complex systems can be produced, such as a working arithmetic logic unit as used in CPUs. The game world is procedurally generated as the player explores it. Although limits exist on vertical movement both up and down, Minecraft allows for an infinitely large game world to be generated on the horizontal plane, only running into technical problems when extremely distant locations are reached. The game achieves this by splitting the game world data into smaller sections, called chunks, only created or loaded into memory when the player is nearby. Section 1.1 – Survival In this mode, the player has a health bar, which is depleted by attacks from monsters, falls, or environmental damage, such as drowning or falling into lava. The player also has a hunger bar, which must be periodically refilled by eating various foods, pork chops, bread, etc., in-game. Armor can help mitigate damage from mob attacks, while weapons can be used to kill enemies and other animals. Health replenishes when the player has a full hunger bar or by playing on the easiest difficulty, where the health bar regenerates by itself. Upon dying, items in the player's inventory are dropped and the player is respawned at the current spawn point, which, by default, is where the player started, but can be set by sleeping in in-game beds. The items can be recovered if reached before they despawn. The player can acquire different resources and craft tools, weapons, armor, food, and various other items. By acquiring better resources, the player can make more effective items. For example, tools such as axes, shovels, or pickaxes can be used to chop down trees, dig soil, and mine ores, respectively, and the tools made out of better resources such as iron in place of stone, perform their tasks more quickly and can be used more heavily before breaking. The game has an inventory system and the player is limited to the number of items they can carry, specifically 36 spaces. Section 1.2 Creative In creative mode, the player does not take environmental or mob damage, is not affected by hunger, and can fly freely around the game world. The player also has access to unlimited resources or items through the inventory menu and can place or remove them instantly. All creatures in the game, including hostile ones, may still spawn under proper conditions, but they cannot damage the player. Section 1.3 Classic Older versions of Minecraft are also available for players. Unlike newer versions of Minecraft, Classic is free to play though it is no longer updated. It functions much the same as creative mode, allowing players to build and destroy any and all parts of the world either alone or in a multiplayer server. There are no computer creatures in this mode, and environmental hazards such as lava will not damage the player. However, some blocks function differently, as their behavior was later changed during development. For example, in classic mode, TNT will act like any other block and break when hit, but in newer versions it will detonate after its fuse is lit. Section 1.4 Primary Win Condition Although Minecraft is mostly a sandbox game, it contains some adventure elements, and with that, a primary win condition, which is achieved by traveling to another dimension known as the End, and defeating the powerful Ender Dragon that flies around the map. This dimension is also home to the Endermen, a race of seemingly sentient beings that are rarely seen on the main world. To find the End, one must locate underground ruins of an ancient civilization, referred to in-game as Strongholds, which can be found on the main overworld. They must then activate the Strongholds portal using two different items, one dropped by Endermen and one dropped by Blazes from the Nether Dimension. Upon beating the boss creature, and claiming an exclusive reward, the player is allowed to leave the dimension via a portal, which will cue the game's ending sequence, written by Irish author Julian Goh, and credits roll. 
the player is then teleported back to their original spawn point in the overworld, and, if certain criteria are met, will receive an exclusive achievement, the end. Section 2. Development The developer of Minecraft, Marcus Persson, aka Notch, has previously worked on games such as Worm Online and as a game developer for King.com for over four years. Minecraft development began in May 10, 2009, soon after Pearson had quit his job at King.com in order to concentrate more on independent development. Pearson was inspired to create Minecraft by several other games, such as Dwarf Fortress, Infiniminer by Zachtronics Industries, and Dungeon Keeper by Bullfrog Software. He was still working out the basics of gameplay when he discovered Infiniminer and played with others on the TIGsource.com forums. At the time, he had also been visualizing an isometric 3D building game that would be a cross between his inspirations and had made some early prototypes. After discovering Infiniminer, Notch declared, quote, My god, I realized that that was the game I wanted to do, unquote. Infiniminer heavily influenced the style of gameplay that eventually resulted in Minecraft including the first-person aspect of the game and the blocky visual style. Minecraft was first released to the public on May 17, 2009, as a development alpha release. Although Pearson maintained a day job with Jalboom.net at first, he later moved to working part-time and has since quit in order to work on Minecraft full-time, as sales of the beta version of the game have expanded. Person continues to update the game with releases distributed to users automatically. Person plans to continue these updates after the release of the full game as long as there is still an active user base. These updates have included features such as new items, new blocks, an alternate hell dimension, accessible through construction of a portal, that Person terms the nether, tameable wolves that assist the player, and changes to the game's behavior for example, how water flows. Person plans to eventually release the game as open source, after sales have dropped off and when he wants to move onto other projects. In September 2010, Person announced that he and a friend were starting a video game company, Mojang, with the money earned from Minecraft. This company was intended to back the development of Minecraft and an unrelated game, Scrolls, which his friend would primarily work on. As part of creating the company, Pearson has hired, quote, an artist, a website developer, and a business guy, unquote, additional programmers, and established an office in Stockholm. Although Pearson plans to spend the majority of his time working on Minecraft, while his partner spends the majority of his time working on the other game, he says that, quote, everyone working at the company will be involved in both projects to some degree, unquote. Person said that part of his motivation behind hiring staff was that he felt he was spending too much time working on the website and reading emails, rather than developing Minecraft. The four additional employees hired in 2010 were Jens Bergensten, a programmer, Daniel Kaplan, the business guy, Jacob Porser, who will be working on the other game for Mojang, and Marcus Junkboy Toivonen, a pixel artist. The plans for Person's new company were delayed by weeks when his account with PayPal, containing over 763,000 US dollars in proceeds from Minecraft sales, was frozen due to a suspicious withdrawal or deposit. On October 20th, 2010, the official Minecraft website suffered a prolonged distributed denial of service attack. On December 11th, 2010, Person announced via his personal blog that Minecraft would be entering its beta testing phase on December 20th, 2010, and that the price would increase to 1495 euros. He further stated that users who bought the game after this date would no longer be guaranteed to receive all future content free of charge, as it, quote, scared both the lawyers and the board, unquote. However, bug fixes and all updates leading up to and including the release would still be free. At the start of 2011, Mojang expanded to include Carl Mene as a managing director and Tobias Molstam as a programmer. On April 7, 2011, Person made a post on his blog 
that Mojang has decided to move the game out of beta on November 11th, 2011. However, this would not be the finished product, as the game would be continuously updated before and after the release. Minecraft.net provided online systems to authenticate logins and host the player's profile, including its modifiable character skin pattern and the purchased gift codes. On January 18th, 2011, Person announced in a blog post that Minecraft's web servers would be switching to being hosted solely on the Amazon Web Services AWS, Content Delivery Network. Notch stated in his personal blog that their old web host was having trouble and that Mojang would be switching to using AWS as their host for both Minecraft.net and Minecraft's web functions, such as logging in. This was followed by a tweet the next day, confirming the migration and that Tobias would be the one to set up the new servers. Upon this hosting migration, both Minecraft.net and Minecraft game features experienced fluctuating downtime. On February 21st, Mojang hired Dan Frisk to oversee the servers and backend for both Minecraft and Scrolls. On May 19th, 2011, Person announced via his Twitter account about an additional dimension which is currently being tested to add to the game. The sky dimension is similar to the nether, however set above the sky with floating islands. Currently, an official iOS port of Minecraft is being developed by new Mojang employee Aaron Nyminen for release later in the year 2011. Minecraft 1.8, popularly referred to as the Adventure Update, was leaked on September 9, 2011 by Jens Bergenstein, a Mojang developer, and then subsequently released officially on September 14, 2011, after a long trial of testing and bug fixing. On his Twitter account, Jens Bergenstein noted that the pocket edition of Minecraft is written in C++ and not Java, due to iOS not being able to support Java. On December 2, 2011, Person announced via his personal blog that he would be stepping down as the lead developer of Minecraft. Bergenstein would become lead developer. Person would remain as a developer of Minecraft, but would be taking time away from the game in order to work on an unannounced project. Section 3. Reception Minecraft has received favorable responses from critics, and has had notably large numbers of sales. The game has been praised for the creative freedom it grants its players in-game, and for how dynamic the overall gameplay is. PC Gamer listed Minecraft as the fourth best game to play at work. A review of the alpha version by Scott Munro of the Daily Record called it, quote, already something special, unquote, and urged readers to buy it. Jim Rossignol of Rock Paper Shotgun also recommended the alpha of the game, calling it, quote, a kind of generative 8-bit Lego stalker." Unquote. On September 17, 2010, gaming webcomic Penny Arcade began a series of comics and news posts about the addictiveness of the game. Video game talk show Good Game gave it a 7.5 and 9 out of 10, praising its creativity and customization, though they criticized its lack of a tutorial. In December 2010, Good Game selected Minecraft as their choice for Best Downloadable Game of 2010 title. Game of Sutra named it the 8th best game of the year, as well as the 8th best indie game of the year, and Rock Paper Shotgun named it the game of the year. IndieDB awarded the game the 2010 Indie of the Year Award as chosen by voters, in addition to two out of five Editor's Choice Awards for Most Innovative and Best Single Player Indie. It was also awarded Game of the Year by PC Gamer UK. The game was nominated for the Soymus McNally Grand Prize, Technical Excellence, and Excellence in Design Awards at the March 2011 Independent Games Festival, and won the Grand Prize along with Community Voted Audience Award. At Game Developers Choice Awards 2011, Minecraft won the award for Best Debut Game, Best Downloadable Game, and Most Innovative Game Award winning every award for which it was nominated. It has also won Game City's Video Game Arts Prize. On May 5, 2011, 
Minecraft was selected as one of the 80 games that will be displayed at the Smithsonian American Art Museum as part of the Art of Video Games exhibit that will open on March 16, 2012. Section 3.1 Sales In September 2010, after an impromptu free-to-play weekend, the game had a spike in sales of over 25,000 purchases in 24 hours. On January 12, 2011, Minecraft passed 1 million purchases, less than a month after reaching beta. At the same time, the game had no publisher backing, and has never been commercially advertised except through word of mouth. By April 2011, Person estimated that Minecraft had made 23 million euros, that's 33 million US dollars, in revenue, with 800,000 sales of the alpha version of the game at 995 euros, and over 1 million sales of the beta version at 1495 euros. On July 1, 2011, Minecraft passed the 10 million registered users mark. As of November 7, 2011, Minecraft had over 16 million registered users and over 4 million purchases. Section 4 Ports The game has been released so far on Android and iOS as Minecraft Pocket Edition and is set to be released on several other platforms, including the Xbox 360. The Xbox 360 version of the game, developed by 4J Studios, will support Connect Play and cross-platform playability with the PC version. Section 4.1 Minecraft Pocket Edition On August 16, 2011, Minecraft Pocket Edition was released for the Xperia Play. It was opened up to the rest of the Android market as of the 8th of October. The first and current version of the software concentrates on the creative building aspect of the game and allows for multiplay across a local wireless network. An iOS version of Minecraft was released on November 17, 2011. Section 5 Minecon 2011 On May 11, 2011, Person announced via his blog that an official Minecraft convention titled Minecon 2011 would be held from November 18th through November 19th in Las Vegas in the United States, and on August 11th, the Minecon website was launched. The event included an official launch of Minecraft, keynote speeches, including one by person, building and costume contests, Minecraft-themed breakout classes, exhibits by leading gaming and Minecraft-related companies, commemorative merchandise, and autograph and picture times with Mojang employees and well-known contributors from the Minecraft community. As well as this, free codes were given to every attendee of Minecon that unlock alpha versions of Mojang's other upcoming game, Scrolls, as well as an additional non-Mojang game, Cobalt, which is being developed by OxEye Game Studios. Minecon sold all of its 4,500 tickets. Section 6 Soundtrack Composer C418 released a soundtrack, titled Minecraft Volume Alpha, on March 4, 2011. You have just finished listening to Minecraft, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. This sound file was recorded on January 22, 2012. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by dash sa slash 3.0.